What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and as you saw by the intro, The Fiend has a brand new championship and the replica of it is selling for $6,499. What? Uh, but that isn't the topic of today's video. Today I'm be giving you my thoughts and opinions of The Fiend's new championship. Now people know I am a very critical person when it comes to titles. Um, for example, I really dislike the new Intercontinental belt. And I really dislike the Blue Universal belt. Um, and due to this, the main dislike I had about the Blue Universal Championship was it's all nitpicky things. So, one, I don't like it. it's got a red swoosh, it should be black, then I might, you know, think it's a bit better, but the red looks better than the blue, but I'm getting off topic again. I've been feeling really ill this week, that's why I didn't make a reaction video. So, um, I'm sort of making a video now to sort of, you know, give you guys my honest opinion on the belt. I had an issue that The Fiend has red match lighting and he has red attire. And everything The Fiend does is based off the colour red. Uh, like, anything Fiend related is always red. He doesn't come out with green lights, you know what I mean? It's, it's red. And they gave him a blue belt. And at Survivor Series, this looked really awkward because The Fiend just came out with a blue belt when he had a red match. Um, and I wasn't a fan. So, on SmackDown, WWE rectified this by giving The Fiend an exclusive Universal Championship. So, Funhouse Bray still has the Blue Universal Championship, but The Fiend has this new championship, which is absolutely incredible in my opinion a lot of you are going to be like this is bad uh well put it this way i think it's probably a seven out of ten i think it could have been done better but i am also happy with the result i think it's really cool it looks like they've got the skin of the fiend and stretched it around into a belt um i really love this design I think it's awesome. Obviously, there is no plates on it. It looks to just be completely made of leather um, and maybe rubbery sort of materials like the Fiend's mask. But it's awesome. And I genuinely think that it is awesome. Like, what, what else can I say? It's absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of the belt. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm not going to promise anything here. But obviously, everyone knows I made a Daniel Bryan Championship eco-friendly belt um, as an alternative to the WWE shop version because there's it's ridiculous. And I am going to look, because this is very difficult, I can imagine this being very hard to make. But I'm going to look into some materials, look into different methods of doing things and see if eventually, uh, I don't think it'll be until the new year, but I could see if I can make... The Fiend's belt because that would be awesome and you know it saves people having to spend like you know six thousand five hundred dollars which no one wants to do but anyways what do you guys think about the championship do you like it I mean I for one I think it's awesome but you guys probably you know some of you might hate it some of you might like it some of you might think it's all right but once again my opinion is I think it's great but it could have been better but I'm happy with the result. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please sure, be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.